In the first lesson, we answered the most asked questions we have before taking the plunge in the stock market. In this lesson, we will delve deeper. We'll understand the basics of the stock market by answering what a stock is, about stock exchanges, the Sensex and Nifty, and also the stock market regulators. We'll also see how to place a buy or sell order. Now, after watching this lesson, you have to take the Introduction to Stocks course. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the basics of the stock market. This lesson is basically a quick recap. So what's a stock? In simplest terms, a stock is a share in the ownership of a limited company. Now, with a stock, you become a shareholder of a company's assets and earnings. And your portion of ownership is limited to the value of the stock you own. So if you had more stock, you have more ownership in the company. Stocks are also synonymously called equity or shares. They're one and the same thing. Now, when you buy a stock of a company, you receive a stock certificate, which is proof of ownership. In the early days, these stock certificates were represented by fancy pieces of paper. But thanks to today's computer age, your brokerage firm keeps all these records electronically. You don't need to go to a brokerage with a thick file of papers anymore. Trading with a click of a mouse has made life a zillion times easier for stock traders. In the course Introduction to Stocks, we visited the Bombay Stock Exchange and filmed a real trading pit. Here, hundreds of brokers came in every single day, shouting orders to buy and sell stock. Today, all of this is done by these. Rows of servers spread throughout. The entire process is completely digitized. So what's a stock exchange? A stock exchange, in simple words, is the organized market for buying and selling of securities. The prices of securities in a stock exchange are governed by the forces of demand and supply. Now, if too many people, say, start selling shares, the price of the share will fall. The same is true if demand is high and people are trying to aggressively buy. Prices will naturally go up. When a company first raises money by listing on the stock exchange, that first issue is called an IPO or an Initial Public Offering. And this market is referred to as the primary market. After the shares are listed on the trading exchange, all trading happens between market participants. That means people like you and I, traders, banks and large funds trade amongst themselves in the exchange. So the daily ups and downs you hear that the Sensex has risen or Tata Steel has fallen, all of that is happening between traders and market participants. And that place, the regular stock market, is called the secondary market. In India, there are two stock exchanges, the Bombay Stock Exchange, the BSE, and the National Stock Exchange, or the NSE. The NSE was established in 1992 and the BSE way back in 1875, making it the oldest stock exchange. What are the Sensex and the Nifty? Now, to start with, the Sensex and Nifty are market indices, which are convenient summaries of the market prices. An index helps the audience and traders to understand the chaos of the overall stock market by giving a measurable, comparable number that reflects performance of the market of earlier periods. Basically, let's look at the Sensex. The Sensex is an index made of the top 30 companies on the Bombay Stock Exchange. The Nifty? The Nifty is an index made of top companies listed on the National Stock Exchange. Market indices are integral to stock markets as they are direct references of buyers and sellers and their decision. The performances of stock that constitute a specific index, like the Sensex or Nifty, these are barometers for the market. So if the stock prices go up, the index will rise. And if generally the stock market is down, the index will fall. So now, instead of going through hundreds of stocks, you just need to see either the Sensex or Nifty to understand whether the market is going up or the market is going down. It's a convenient market summary. So who are the stock market regulators in India? The Indian capital markets are regulated and monitored by the Ministry of Finance, the Securities and Exchange Board, also called SEBI, and the Reserve Bank of India, 
also called RBI. Now, the Ministry of Finance regulates the stock market through the Department of Economic Affairs, their Capital Markets Division. Now, the division is responsible for formulating policies related to the orderly growth and development. So this is very high-level policy that the Ministry of Finance deals with. The Securities and Exchange Board, they deal with something more crucial. They deal with the day-to-day -day operations of the stock market. It is the principal regulator of the stock exchanges and its primary functions include protecting investor interests and promoting the securities market. Next, we have the Reserve Bank of India. Now, the RBI is the financer to the Indian economy. It's the central bank responsible for implementing monetary and credit policies. It can issue currency notes and through its control of the interest rates can manage money flow into the economy by increasing it or decreasing it. This has a huge impact on the stock market because if there's a lot of inflow of money, companies will grow faster. Then we have the National Stock Exchange and the Bombay Stock Exchange. These two stock exchanges in India are required to follow regulations too. They have to look after registration, securities listings, transaction monitoring, and even compliance by members. Now, members of the stock exchanges are brokers, whom which people like you and I, traders, can open an account and trade in the stock market. But how do you really trade? I want to show you how to place an order on the exchange. And with online stock brokerages, the process is extremely simple. Even more so with Upstocks, a brokerage firm owned by RKSV. Now, this mobile app, for example, makes trading extremely simple to execute. Here, the Upstocks app has a watch list of different stocks you may want to buy and sell. Let's select Wipro and enter the quantity. We can put in 15 shares and hit buy. That's it. The order will be sent to the exchange and voila, we just purchased 15 shares of Wipro. There are web versions as well, where you have a host of professional trading tools. Here, we can choose from various order types such as market order, limit order, stop loss, cover and bracket orders. You can find more information in the description below. The web version also has a lot more tools like charting, etc. that you can use on your desktop since there's more space. Now, I hope all this information has been helpful in understanding what, how and why of stocks exchanges. In the next lesson, we'll take you through the process of opening a brokerage account. I'll see you then.